Hello, let's talk about application monitoring in BizTalk 360. BizTalk monitoring can be generally divided into two top categories which are infrastructure monitoring and application monitoring. Typical infrastructure monitoring items will include things like disks, NT services, server availability, BizTalk host instances availability, and so on. Application monitoring will involve running the functional business aspects of your BizTalk application, for example, handling suspended instances, checking port, or orchestration health. To monitor the applications in BizTalk server, the BizTalk administrator needs to consult the BizTalk administration console multiple times per day to know the state of BizTalk artifacts, which is not efficient. To give you that comforting feeling that you are in control over the state of your ports and orchestrations, BizTalk 360 provides multiple features. Threshold monitoring allows you to monitor the state of your BizTalk artifacts. Health check reports function as your daily health check, providing you with an overview of the state of all the artifacts. Once a threshold violation has occurred, you can receive alerts in multiple channels, say Slack, ServiceNow, Twilio, etc. View the health of each application on the big screen with filterable tree view, which constantly shows the current state of the artifacts. BizTalk 360 not just monitors your artifacts, it also brings the artifacts back to their expected state if there is a mismatch between the current and the expected state. Let's see how to configure application ports and orchestrations for monitoring. The first step for monitoring is alarm creation. In the alarm, you will define when to check the threshold or health of the mapped artifacts and who to notify when there is a violation. You can either create an alarm per BizTalk application or create an alarm as an interface approach to monitor all the artifacts related to that interface. In alarm, you can define the email ID and channels to notify if in case any violation occurs. Also, you can define the violation persist duration and the number of alerts to send. To map the artifacts from monitoring, navigate to Manage Mapping and click on the Applications menu. Here you will see the list of applications available in your environment. Now select the application which you want to monitor. I am selecting the Customer Order Routing application. In this mapping screen, you can see all the ports and orchestrations in that application. Select the alarm first in which you want to map your artifacts. Then select the artifacts. I want all my send ports to be in the started state. So, I'm setting the expected state as started. You can see this is indicated as red because the current state of the send port is not the same as the expected state stated. Similar to that, you can set the expected state for your receive locations and send port groups and orchestrations. Moving to the service instance, you can monitor the instance state and count by setting the error and warning threshold. Once you map the applications for monitoring, that's it. You don't need to worry about the health of the application anymore you will get the notification when there is a state change. Similar to this, you can map multiple applications and see the status of all the applications in a single go in the monitoring dashboard. It'll be very handy to view the status of the environment on a big screen that shows the current health of your artifacts. Each node represents the health of the application and artifacts. By clicking on this number, you can see what went wrong in the artifact. You can zoom in, zoom out, and download this in PDF format. Okay, now let's see how to set up the auto healing option. Move to the application monitoring and select the artifacts for which you want to set autocorrect and enable it. So, if there is any mismatch in the expected and current state, the system will automatically change it. Now you can see the error here because the current state and expected state are different, which will automatically be healed in the next cycle as we set autocorrect. We will wait till the next cycle. Now you can see the state is healthy. Thus, we have configured application monitoring. Thanks for watching.